Greetings collectors and welcome to today's show. It's fair to say that every generation of computer console had its standout fighting game. Whether you play Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Killer Instinct, King of Fighters, Virtua Fighter or Tekken. All of these games built on the first steps of the 8-bit classics. Today I'm taking a look back at a gem from 1985. It wasn't the first fighting game, but it's certainly one the older generations look back on with fond memories. Today we spar with The Way of the Exploding Fist. Developed by Melbourne House for the Commodore 64, The Way of the Exploding Fist would set the standard for karate games. An immersive 18 character moves and 600 sprite animations were some of the first steps in the fighting game genre as we know it today. The game was successful enough to warrant ports for just about every other home computer around at the time. Everything from the BBC Micro to the ZX Spectrum would get a version of this game. The game itself comes in a black clamshell case with some rather iconic artwork. The karate champ on the front of the box is terrifying, with his hollow white eyes, several hundred teeth, and fingernails that clearly need a trim. There's also a nice call out by world karate champion Jeffrey Thompson, which simply reads, Beat This. The endorsement continues on the back with a signature, as well as the support of national newspapers and magazines. Popular Computing Weekly writes, Quite simply, the best program. The Daily Mail writes, Spectacular, startling original epic, most televisual game I have ever encountered. Pretty strong endorsements from the media. I'm sure I've not heard the phrase most televisual outside of this box text. There is of course the obligatory screenshot showing off some of the move set, as well as rousing text to put you in the mood to cave someone's head in. Inside the case you get a sleek black cassette. Nothing much to highlight here other than the program uses the Pavloda system to load the game in less than three minutes. I will perhaps expand on Pavloda in another episode. For now, all you need to know that it's a desirable coding technique to speed up the game loading times. Unusual to the game is that there is no internal manual. But wait, slip out the game cover and witness a fully packed information sheet. Everything from loading the game, backstory, scoring system and moveset is listed here. The text is also reprinted in French and German, because our European cousins need to experience Exploding Fist too. What stands out here is the text size. This must win the award for the smallest text ever printed. I've made a quick comparison here against the tip of a standard ballpoint pen for the main international text. It gets even more extreme though in the publishing details. It's so small that even those of us with fair eyesight will need help. No such problem in-game though. The loading screen is bright and bold and really sets the tone nicely for a good kickabout. After a loading sequence, which did complete in under 3 minutes, you are free to begin either as a 1 or 2 player game. As you would expect, the rules are simple. Knock your opponent down. It's one hit landed system, so the tactics become very much like a game of high stakes rock scissor paper. Make the right move and you knock your opponent to the ground. Make the wrong move and you leave yourself open to being punched in the groin. In terms of scoring, there is a little more depth to the game. I'm informed that the system of scoring is known as Shobu Nihon Kumite. A committed but non-decisive technique known as a Wazai Ara will earn you a half Yin Yang, and a full Yin Yang is awarded for an Ippon score, which is achieved by a decisive finishing blow. Any time remaining after the knockout is awarded to your score. This score builds up into what's known as the Dan system. As you progress through the dance, the background scenery will change venue and the competitors will get much more difficult. I found that just walking up to the opponent and trying to slap him round the face or kick to the shin was the most reliable technique. After Dan 2 though, the computer seems to jump hugely in skill and the game can get quite challenging. So, is Way of the Exploding Fist any good? Is it quite simply the best program, or the most televisual game I have ever encountered? Well, three decades have passed, so no, not really. Back in 1985 though, I'm inclined to partially agree. Although games such as Karate Champ preceded it, the Way of the Exploding Fist has a special magic about it. It's the gameplay, it's so simple, yet somehow feels much deeper than it should. 
There's no combos, special moves, or announcer, but the game doesn't need these to be a solid entertainment experience. I found the game quite charming, and it felt like a game I could spend some time with. Its Commodore 64 origins clearly have all the usual trappings of slightly stiff control, a limited colour palette, but the game achieves what it should in providing a good experience. The way of the exploding fist would also be instrumental in seeing the next generation of fighting game develop. The game heavily influenced one of my favourite games of all time, Archer McLean's seminal IK Plus for the Commodore Amiga. The legacy is clear, and IK Plus is a fitting tribute to its predecessor. In terms of collecting Way of the Exploding Fist, expect to pay up to £5 for a good complete in box black label edition, or just a few pennies for a budget release. In North America, expect a similar ceiling price of up to $7. However, it's likely on the right day you can pick this one up for much less. In my book, I'd say definitely try this one out. The Way of the Exploding Fist may lack the flashy traits of modern fighting games, but it still delivers on the core gaming experience of punching someone in the groin. When you get down to it, that's all you can ask from a good fighting game. Way of the Exploding Fist. Worthy of its reputation, or just another game lost in the attic? Let me know in the comments section. It's always good to hear from viewers that have played the classics. Hello again, I hope you enjoyed today's show, and thank you for the view. Remember, you can always comment, like, subscribe, and find us on the social media sites below. Happy collecting!